at pointing, I keep on saying to people that we actually design holistic antennas rather than trying to meet specs. In other words, people get a little spec sheet that says gain, VSWR and all this stuff. Pretty much useless and often can be misleading. What do I mean by holistic? I mean, firstly, that we look at what pattern you need and we make sure that you get that pattern. Okay, and that is not describable by any one spec. We also look that you get that pattern and all frequencies that you would need it. Okay, and those are the biggest aspects. You look at it from the top, it needs to have this. Now, people call the antennas omnidirectional, eh? but omnidirectional is not actually defined anyway. There's not a spec sheet number for omnidirectional. So, what we get is pointing typically designed antennas to be really omni. And that means that if you look at the middle, it may have a 2 dBi gain, if it's a low gain omni. Now we get competitors that say they've got an omni antenna and it's got gain of 5 dB. And people say, hey, that is a lot better than pointing. Pointing's only got 2. But if you go look at that pattern here, it may look like this. And if you look, you may find that it has got 5 dBi when you face south, okay, but it's an omni antenna. So here, the antenna may only be minus 2 dBi. And I think it's fairly obvious to see that that guy there gives you a lot better coverage and in all the directions. But you never know where your omni is going to be pointing, even if it's stationary. If it's on a car, hey, real, real problems. And a turn, this guy's going to keep on talking. This guy's just going to ah, wow, drop out and get back again. In addition, we find, and it's by the way, the great wide definition of gain, eh? Gain is defined as just the gain in one spot. But they call it omni, and I can't actually argue because there's no definition for omni in, in the textbooks. Now, they often also would have that happen. And especially, by the way, I'm talking now going across frequencies. Uh, if you get other um, antenna uh, manufacturers or brands, go look at the patterns versus frequency. Normally you find that 900, the Omni may be good. But if you go look up to 2.2 gigahertz, which is the typical 3G frequencies, you find that patterns start looking like this. The elevation beam, okay, the beam, this beam you want to, of course, point to the horizon, eh? because it's the only place you're going to get base stations. You're not going to get it underground, and you're not going to get it in the sky somewhere. And you find that the patterns do this. Now, that pattern there may already be tilted up, which means the whole thing is useless, and then they find the maximum, which could be there if that one is for pointing south. And you can see that that type of stuff, which you won't find in any spec sheet, okay, you can find it if the guy gives you the patterns, and some of them publish it. I can see that the antenna is absolute useless, but most people don't sit and read radiation patterns. Uh, radiation patterns to me is like reading the Sunday paper. I see it immediately. But perhaps go look, or perhaps believe me that on an omni antenna the lower gain is the better. Can you believe it? So I get crucified for designing low gain antennas, which are in fact uh, top performing antennas in the world today. Thank you.